This is CBS 2 News at Noon. And right now at noon, the countdown is on and the crowds are filing in as the moon makes its way across the sky before the total solar eclipse. We have team coverage all over the Empire State. Christine Johnson is in Niagara, Niagara Falls, excuse me, Lonnie Quinn, Lake Placid and John Elliott here in the Weather Center on what we can expect in terms of visibility today. Good afternoon. I'm Chris Raggy now on CBS 2 and streaming on CBS News New York. In just a few short hours, the moon will cover the sun, turning daylight into nearly complete darkness in the path of totality. 15 lucky states are within that path, including parts of New York. But a little cloud cover to contend with ahead of the event. How will that impact what we can see? As you can see, the countdown clock on your screen. Meteorologist John Elliott here now with the answers in your first alert forecast. Hi, John. I know. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Here we go. So let's just paint the picture. You can see it is mostly sunny right now. Wind out of the north northwest at five miles an hour. So visibility is great if you're looking that way. Problem is we're looking that way and watch what's happening. We're seeing a few more clouds fill in. This is Sussex up to Orange Sullivan and then for our friends farther to the north. This is going to be the problem. This is why it's going to be very interesting to compare Lake Placid to Niagara Falls. Unfortunately, they are closer to a front. So in, in advance of that, the clouds will spread out. We are still going to go with about a 50-50 draw for clouds between the beginning at 210 to when it ends at 436. Believe it or not, I just got a call. Somebody said, what time's the eclipse? Okay, let's review one more time. It starts a little after two. Starts. Remember, then it takes all the way until 325 in our area for us to get that 90%. Now, remember, totality, north and west, that's where Lonnie and Christine Johnson are. It's a different kind of corona. It's a different sensation, but ours is plenty cool. And we are going to deal with some passing clouds. It really is luck of the draw. I'm going to West Essex. It might be a little bit better farther to the south. We'll have more of your weather for all points of the compass in a bit. Right now, though, right back to Chris. Okay, John, thank you. Let's continue our team coverage of the Empire State Eclipse. Let's head out to CBS 2's Lonnie Quinn in Lake Placid, New York. Oh, Lonnie, it sounds great out there. <laughs> A prime spot for this afternoon's event, and you got them all riled up already. Come on! It's going to be... Guys, is this going to be great? Is this going to be great? So, so here's the deal. All right, it all kicks off here in Lake Placid at 2.13. That's when the partial eclipse begins. And the partial eclipse process, from partial from one side to the other, the whole process, about two hours, 23 minutes. But it's that sweet spot. It's all about totality, right? Totality! Chris, they love totality. Well, here's the deal. That's going to take place 325 to 328. And I don't know if everybody here knows what's going to happen, but it's going to go from daytime to nighttime. Let me get this little one right in here. What is your name, honey? What's your name? Paige. Paige. Are you excited about what's going to happen today here in Lake Placid? Yeah. What, what is going to happen? The moon and the sun are going to gonna go next to each other and be in front of each other. The moon will be in front of the sun, and then a little of the sun will show, but the moon will be covering it. Rags, I'm done here. You have that, Paige. <laughs> She's in charge. All right, here's the key. Paige, that's exactly right, honey. Yeah, that was a beautiful explanation. So, if you are close to that center line in the path of totality, which goes from Texas all the way to Maine, if you're by the center of the path, the path itself is 115 miles wide. The closer you are to the center, the longer the totality. Now, there are some spots, guys, that are going to get a little bit more than us. We're going to get uh, 3 minutes, 21 seconds. Portions of Texas would be getting about 4 minutes, but guess what? It's cloudy. There are thunderstorms in Texas. Oh, this oh. is what I know. I know. I know. Yeah. See, no. This is a gr okay. But wait, wait. I've been watching you for weeks, and you said, "When is this going to be on?" Wait, wait, wait. Where, when is this going to be on? Where am I supposed to be? Oh, you want to know when I this is going to be on? Wait, wait. What's your name, first of all? Carol. Yeah. You want to know when this is going to be on? How about this, Carol? We're uh, we're live. Oh no. No. But my my yes. tape isn't going. Wait, wait. Where? Wait, so wait. So you you tell me where am I supposed to be? Rochester. Rochester. Well, you know what? And the clouds are in Rochester. I know, and we thought you blew it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Raggy, Rags, this this is a tough crowd. Wait a minute. I, wait, wait a minute. We wait, no, only no. watch CBS News. Um, wait, see, come this way. Wait, Chris wants to see uh, your smiling face. You I'm, <laughs> I'm originally from Brooklyn. Yep. Then Staten Island. Now yep. Marlboro, New Jersey. Okay. 
and we watch CBS News. Special. Blow, blow, blow Chris Raggy a kiss if you don't mind. Just yeah, look at that. There you go. That's we it. especially watch CBS News. My son was going partially for meteorology. Now he's a commercial pilot. He's over there. Somewhere. Oh, I like him already. I like yes, him already. And, and he says we have to watch you. That you always get it right. <laughs> he has seen you in. Finally, some accountability. Oh God. <laughs> Ashkosh. I know, right? And. And you always get it right. And this time we were like, oh, oh yeah, no, I, 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 I was a little, a little, a little off on Rochester. But, but you know what? We made the last minute call. We are here now. We got all kind. You made the, the, the drive here from where? Hawthorne, New Jersey. Another local. Is it? Another what's your first name? Another. Jim. All right, guys. These are all my people, apparently. But listen, Rags. We've got a lot going on here today. Look out here. The Oval. All right. The Olympic Oval. That's the speed skating oval right there. That's going to be filled with. They tell me about 3,000 people. We are going to be here for all of it. It's kicking off this afternoon, Rags. Let's go back to you in the studio. Lonnie, that is a gold medal performance out there, my man. Good job. And uh, Mr. Hawthorne, there. He's my people. <laughs> not, not, not so much. He's more my wait, people than your wait, people. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> We're yeah. neighbors. <laughs> Chris wants to know if he can get your number. <laughs> hey, Carol, keep holding him accountable. All yours, boss. I love it. All right, Lonnie, thanks so much. Say hi to everybody out there for me. Have a good time there later today. What a prime spot. Now, one of the top travel destinations to see this solar eclipse, Niagara Falls. CBS News' Christine Johnson is there for us right in that path of totality. Christine, how are you? Good afternoon, Chris. Here at Niagara Falls, you can see the American Falls directly right behind me. We've been here since the crack of dawn and it's been quite a sight to be able to take in here this morning. And of course, the big story of the day is this solar eclipse. Are we going to be able to see it? The cloud cover is certainly here. The mayor told me earlier that he has a good feeling that these clouds could dissipate just enough where maybe we could see the eclipse take place when it happens. It will certainly be a historic event. And we were able to get one of our photographers, Joe Garufi, on the Maid of the Mist. Here's some of the video that he took. Unfortunately, he did not stay dry, and it is chilly here, so he's got to deal with some wet socks and, unfortunately, some wet gear. But he was a big trooper and was able to get us exclusive video from Made of the Mist here today to share with our viewers. So we're going to wait with anticipation once again, hoping for that cloud cover to dissipate, and we'll be able to see history take place here in Niagara Falls. Christine Johnson, CBS2 News. All right, Christine, thank you very much. Made of the mist, not the place to be today, that's for sure. Well, here in the city, thousands are expected to attend watch parties for the eclipse. One of them will be at the New York Hall of Science in Corona, Queens. CBS 2's Christina Fan now with more. Well, viewing parties are being held all across the tri-state area, but where can you learn more about a solar eclipse while watching one than right here at a museum? About 2,000 spectators are expected to gather on the lawn behind the New York Hall of Science to geek out with fellow science enthusiasts this afternoon. The celebration will include a DJ, food vendors, and a solar eclipse station where participants can observe sunspots and even design their own eclipse art. If you prefer a sky high view. Several iconic city landmarks are throwing special events, including the Empire State Building and the Edge at Hudson Yards. The Parks Department is also hosting watch parties free of charge across the five boroughs. We asked New Yorkers where they plan to be this afternoon to observe this rare phenomenon. Frochie Middle Park, because it's open area, you know, so it's better to be there. What else? I was hoping to look at the eclipse, but unfortunately I couldn't find any glasses because they've all run out and, well, I was too late in being able to buy any off of Amazon. So I'm just going to stay at home and just probably get some videos online. Good thing we have the internet now, so I can just look at videos. Anytime there's a one in 60 year, one in, like, something that happens only in a very few times in your lifetime, it's exciting. Because you don't want to miss it. The educational and interactive solar eclipse event here at the museum starts at 1 p.m. and runs until the eclipse ends around 4.30 this afternoon. Organizers say to expect traffic and congestion in the area as families make it here after school. The museum says they'll prepare the glasses 
All you have to bring along is some patience and curiosity. Reporting from Corona, Queens, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Well, no matter where you get your news, we've got special coverage of the eclipse across our CBS News platforms today. A special report, Total Eclipse of the Heartland, will air on CBS 2 starting at 2 p.m. and on our streaming channel, CBS News New York. Catch our special Empire State Eclipse. We'll have a team of reporters across New York and New Jersey that also starts straight up at 2 p.m.